my name's Mike Tipton. I'm a professor of human and applied physiology, and I'm speaking to you from one of the environmental chambers of the Extreme Environments Laboratory here at the University of Portsmouth. So our remit is to look at the pathophysiological, physiological and psychophysiological responses to extreme environments and the preparation, protection and selection of people to go into those environments. Well, physiology is the foundation um, of the advice that we give. So our output isn't doing experiments, the output of any scientist is advice and one of the techniques you'll use is to do experimentation. So for example we have supported the Royal National Lifeboat Institution's Respect the Water campaign since it began in 2014 and all of that campaign which people may have seen at the cinema or on the TV or on adverts is underpinned by an understanding of the physiology of immersion in cold water. So the idea that you should float first, fight your instincts, which is a central theme of that campaign, is all based on understanding that in the first moments of immersion in cold water, your cold receptors, the dynamic response from those receptors, is so large that it makes breathing uncontrollable, increases the workload of the heart, and the best thing to do in that situation is to stay still until about 90 seconds into the immersion when you'll regain control of your breathing. So that's the physiology, the fundamental physiology, um, the nature of cold reception, the nature of the dynamic response of cold receptors that underpins a very simple message that ends up being float first, fight your instincts to thrash about and swim.